Emma Stone completely changed her look with a platinum asymmetrical bob. One of Hollywood's most famous gingers has dyed her hair platinum blonde, as Barbie Corsummer continues. Emma Stone's hairstylist Mara Rozak shared photos of Stone's hair transformation to one of the lightest colors and shortest hair lengths the actress has ever worn. Stone is actually a natural blonde and has dyed her hair varying shades of the hue for film roles, like when she played Gwen Stacy in the amazing Spider-Man movies with Andrew Garfield. Rosak told Vogue that Stone's new asymmetrical bob is a combination of a good cut and individual extensions to add fullness. She also gave tips for those looking to replicate the look. When asking for a chin-length bob, know that the cut should be a tiny touch longer in the front for subtle dimension, she explained. Emma just went bleach blonde, so this was the perfect time for a cut to give her a healthy refresh. She's always open to seeing herself in different ways and truly trusts the process. Priscilla Vallas added 15 individual extensions to Stone's cut to give it more dimension. Individuals are the most luxurious extension because they move and flow like natural hair, Vallas said, calling the option the least damaging to the scalp. It's like building a wave on the head as opposed to a heavy weft or clip-in. They're extremely lightweight. For color, Tracy Cunningham created the hue using Redken products. Cunningham is an ambassador for Redken. We did a red to blonde transformation on Emma Stone, Cunningham told ELLE. Emma had some leftover blonde underneath the red, so this was a more complicated lift. First, we used Redken Flash Lift Lightener to highlight the areas that were still a bit red. Afterwards, we belaged her hairline and rooted her using Redken Shades EQ Gloss for 20 minutes. We then finished with an all-over shades EQ gloss. This process gave her the prettiest tone. She looks gorgeous with any color. Stone discussed how she originally ended up with red hair, a 2010 interview with The Independent. When I first moved to LA, I had this agent who thought, because I was blonde, that I only wanted to play cheerleaders, she said. So she'd send me out for all these parts where they thought, what a weird 15-year-old. It's not going to work out. I don't know if anyone necessarily underestimated me as a blonde. I think I just had a crappy agent. So one day, in a fit of trying to do something different, I just dyed my hair dark brown and got my first role a week later, after which I thought, people are closed-minded man. Like a different hair color changes everything. Then for Superbad, my hair was brown at the test, but Judd Apatow said to dye it red and I've mostly had red hair ever since.